Congratulations! You're taking the first step towards buying your new home. This will most likely be the largest financial decision you'll make in your life, and it's definitely not something to be taken lightly. Owning your own home is considered by many to be the American dream. You can plant your own garden, have a dog, make a man cave, paint your bedroom any color you want. It's your house. And the good news is, you're already a step ahead of most home buyers because you understand the importance of speaking with a professional loan officer, me, before you begin your new home search. And even if you're not prepared to buy for several months or even a year, it's wise to start right away. Most home buyers don't have the means to pay cash for a new home, so they use the option of financing a portion of the purchase price to be paid back over a period of time. The bank assumes the risk of loaning you a large portion of the money with the agreement that you'll pay it back on a monthly basis until the loan is paid in full. Think about what I just said. The bank is assuming the risk. They aren't going to live in the house. You are. So their goal is to earn a profit off the money they loan you. Let me ask you this. If I came up to you right now, having never met you, would you loan me $5,000 with just the promise that I'll pay it back? Probably not. But this is exactly what you're asking the bank to do. And when you purchase a new home, you're not going to be asking the bank for a few thousand dollars. You're going to be asking for tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of dollars. And the good news is, the bank is willing to do this. But before they do, they're going to assess their risk. So be prepared for the bank to research your financial history, including your income, assets, and your past credit. You are not entitled to this money. And this is where my job comes in. Together, we'll review your financial situation to see how much loan you may qualify for per the bank's guidelines. Banks can get a little conservative, so along with bank statements, photo ID, and pay stubs, don't be surprised if they ask you to wear purple socks before the closing. In a nutshell, there are three main factors involved with qualifying for a mortgage. Income, assets, and credit. Come on, let's explore each one individually. Everyone that has any source of income has what's called a debt to income ratio, or DTI. Your DTI is simply an equation where your total monthly debts are divided by your monthly gross, or before tax income. Your monthly debts may include the following car loans, credit card payments, student loan payments, personal loans, child support or alimony payments, and any other current mortgages you may have opened. Also included in your DTI will be your new housing expenses, including the principal and interest, real estate taxes, homeowners insurance, private mortgage insurance if required, and any association fees. Other debts not appearing on this list may also apply. Besides your current base pay from your job, other forms of income may include overtime, bonuses, and tips, income from a part-time or second job, child support and alimony income, social security, pension, rental income from investment properties, interest earned from investments, military income, disability income. Now banks do have a maximum debt ratio to qualify. These limits can vary according to the loan program and your credit score. Together we'll review your debt to income ratio to see how much home you qualify for. Assets are simply this, liquid money you have available. It can be in the form of bank accounts, money market accounts, stocks and bonds, 401k, or retirement money, just to name a few. In most cases, the down payment money you'll be using to purchase a home will come from these assets, unless you're receiving a gift from someone in which other rules may apply. The amount required for a down payment varies on the loan program you qualify for. And you may qualify for several loan programs. Together, we'll discuss your down payment options. A few sources allowed for the down payment may include 
saved money in your checking or savings money market accounts, stocks and bonds, gifts from a family member, 401k loans. Some sources of down payment cannot come from cash advance on credit cards or a loan from a friend. Upon reviewing your application and the price range you are looking to purchase, together we can review your down payment options. Oh, there you are. Credit scores. This is the big one. Your credit scores directly impact which mortgage program you'll qualify for. Before I issue your pre-approval letter, I must review your credit report. See, different mortgage programs require different credit scores. The higher your scores, the more programs you'll qualify for. Once again, before you start house hunting, it's critical for me to run your credit report. So, what's the next step? Your realtor, as well as the seller of the home you want to purchase, will want a pre-approval letter. This letter shows everyone that you've spoken to a mortgage professional and are pre-qualified to finance the property you're looking to purchase. Now, to issue a pre-approval, you need to complete a mortgage application. And this can be done several ways. I can gather your information over the phone. We can meet face-to-face. I do have evening and weekend appointments available. Or you can visit my website and apply at joesmymortgageguy.com. The application process is simple and usually takes no more than 15 minutes. Once completed, I'll review your credit and finances, and based on your goals, find the mortgage program best suited for you. Once the pre-approval is issued, it's time for you and your realtor to find your new home. Now. I want you to know that from the application to the closing table, Joe Javolski will be assisting you throughout the mortgage process. I am Joe Javolski. I look forward to working with you. And I have one question. Who's your mortgage guy? Joe's my mortgage guy. 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 Joey's my mortgage guy. Joe's my mortgage guy. Joe's my mortgage guy. Joe's my mortgage guy. Dot com. Thank you. Thank you very much.